What is up guys, welcome to my review for The Flash, Season 4, Episode 18, titled Lose Yourself, and it turns out I was completely wrong about that simulation theory, because I, I said it in my show back then, I said that this might be a simulation, uh, trying to test Ralph and see if he was, if he like, will kill DeVoe, and that, I didn't come up with that idea, it was a comment I saw on, a tra on the trailer for this episode, but it turns out that that comment and me were both completely wrong, and it turns out this episode was completely real, and it was not a simulation, and if it was, it would have probably felt a little annoying, because um, they, they killed a lot of characters, and then if they if they made a simulation, they probably just have to do it all over again, so I'm actually glad it wasn't a simulation, I, I think it was actually a pretty bad idea on my part. But this episode introduced us to the final bus meta of the season, and I'm actually really glad the bus meta thing is over. I think it was really overdone. There were too many of them. I mean, this was episode 18, and they're still doing Villains of the Week. Like, I'm pretty sure the reason they did this whole bus meta thing was, one, to make, obviously, to make Thinker really, really powerful, which is what he is right now, but also, two, because they thought this is a good excuse to just have a Villain of the Week every single week until episode 18, which is just overdone, they shouldn't have done that, like, once you get to episode 15 or 16, you should stop with the villain of the week, and then just have every single episode have the main villain, the villain, and he was, Devo was the main villain of this episode, so, I don't really know why they kept on doing these boss matters, they didn't, I'm, what I'm saying is, they didn't need to have so many of them, because it was really drawn out and annoying, but the Folded Man was a was a more interesting boss meta. He wasn't a villain by any sense of the word, and he his his, his character wasn't like amazing or anything. But his power set was pretty cool. the the portal he the portal he used to hop through dimensions and hop all all over the place through space was a cool pretty cool effect. Like the curves on the portal rather than like the the liquid effect that Vibe has with his portals. It, it was a cool effect. But that that's really it. That's all his character had. There's really not not much to it. He was a hippie who could uh, go through dimensions, and they were going to use that to go to DeVoe's dimension, which didn't really work out, so there really wasn't much of a point to this character, but I, I guess I guess DeVoe wanted to use him, I guess, so I guess there was a point. He wasn't, he wasn't a bad addition or anything, but he is dead now, so it doesn't really matter, and a lot of characters died in this episode, which I will talk about later in the video, but really, before DeVoe shut up, the main plot point of the episode was the argument of whether or not Team Flash should kill DeVoe between Barry and Ralph, and that culminated at the end with with um, Ralph being completely and utterly right in that argument, and even though we're supposed to we're supposed to root for Barry because he's the main character and he he's doing the morally right thing, Ralph was right. There's really no no uh, capturing Devoe. You have to kill him. You see that in the end of the episode where Devoe instead instead Ralph instead of killing Devoe, he captures him, and because of it, Ralph presumably dies. So Ralph was completely right in this argument, and it actually worked really well because you have the a guy who's right versus the main character, so that actually works. Like you have, like you you instinctively instinctively root for the main character, but when the other guy is right in the, in in this case scenario, then it you get more torn. So I think the argument between the two actually worked really well because of that. And that fight scene built up to, that that argument is what I meant to say, built up to this fight scene between Barry and Ralph, which is really, really cool. I mean, Barry did knock him out with one punch, which uh, it makes sense because Barry is a lot more powerful and he's a lot more experienced. And the way he went about taking out Ralph was really cool. And Ralph was awesome in that scene as well. So that whole fight scene was, it was short, but it looked really cool and I thought it was pretty great. And then the scene that followed it, the scene where Ralph was just pouring his heart out to Barry saying how how Team Flash is the only family family he's ever had other than his mother. I think that was actually a pretty great scene in my opinion. It did it did make you feel some more for Ralph when he eventually died in this episode or presumably died. I don't I don't actually think he's dead. I think he's coming back later in the season or next season or something like that. I definitely don't think he's dead because you have all this character I'll, I'll talk about that later. But um Ralph this scene this scene he was great. I've always said that Harley Sawyer, the guy who plays Ralph, when he like he, he he's always he's usually jokey in the show, but when he get gets serious, he's surprisingly great. And like almost every scene that he he's serious in, he's great. And this scene is no exception. It was he was really great in the scene and and it really helped the, the episode it really helped the you to care about Ralph in the episode. So when he died, or presumably died, you felt something. Or at least I felt something. I felt, I, I did feel sad. I don't think I needed this scene to make me feel sad because I, I do like this character a lot. I know I, a lot of people, for some reason, don't really like him because he is annoying. The only thing I don't like about him is that he learns the same lesson every single episode or every two or three episodes. Like, he learns this lesson and he goes back to being jokey and 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 bickering with, with Barry, which I think... 
was the same thing in this episode, and I think that that actually did end with this episode. Obviously, he's he's presumably dead, and he's gonna be probably a um he's probably gonna be gone for a couple episodes. But I definitely don't think he's dead. But I think that that bickering between Ralph and Barry accumulated with this fight scene between the two, and that was the end of it. I think that's gone. I think that he's not gonna learn this lesson ever again. I think that you saw you saw more of like him realizing what Barry has told him in the past like when he visited him in jail like he, he he's remembering it so I think that that annoying part of him where he just learning the same lesson over and over again I think that ended with this episode even though I don't think he's like I don't think it ended because he's dead I don't think he's dead but um this this scene between Ralph and Barry was just a uh, overall a really great scene after that scene, Team Flash goes to DeVoe's lair, and DeVoe comes to Star Labs to retrieve all of the bus metas he hasn't had yet. I think he, as of this episode, he's got the powers of every single bus meta except for Fallout, because Fallout is still alive. He's actually a big focal point in the next episode, and I think he, he's probably going to get his powers in the next episode as well, but he now has the powers of all of those bus metas, so he's basically a god. He was like a god before he had Ralph's powers and, and Null's powers, and I'm and um and what what's his name the folded man's powers but now he's an ultra god I mean Team Flash doesn't stand a chance so I'm actually kind of kind of excited or I'm kind of intrigued on how Team Flash will manage to take him out but this uh, this fight scene between this whole this whole set piece between Team Flash fighting Devoe and Marlies first of all it didn't really make any sense how Marlies was so good using her um, her katana or her sword like she was blocking laser laser shots from Iris's gun like how does she do that I mean, we've never seen anything like that which is why I thought like going off the trailer that this might be a simulation because she doesn't she, we've never seen her do that she doesn't really have the skills to do that so that's actually a big problem with this episode they never explain how she's able to fight so well and block all these attacks from a gun from a, a laser gun which probably the laser flies at light speed because it's light so that literally makes no sense. There's no possibility of blocking that, especially when you're a normal human. Like if you're the Flash, maybe, but but Marley's DeVoe, there's no way. So that was that was kind of a kind of annoyed me. Something annoyed me about this episode. But this whole fight scene between Team Flash and DeVoe and the Samurai and De and Marley's DeVoe. I mean, that was a pretty. It was other than DeVoe, other other than Marley's not really making any sense. Like how does she fight like that? Other than that, it was actually a pretty pretty cool fight scene, and then it ended with um, what I've been talking about for this whole episode of DeVoe or Ralph fighting DeVoe and then defeating him, but then De but then DeVoe getting out of it and killing Ralph, and that proved that De Ralph was actually right in the argument. He should have killed DeVoe. Like think about it, there would be that would that would have been the season finale. That would have been the end of the season if Ralph actually killed the Thinker. Like if he killed the Thinker right there. Uh, the, the thinker never would have gotten Ralph's body. Never would have looked went back to looking like Neil Sandyland. It never went would have went on to um, to enact the rest of his plan. So Ralph was completely right, and and this may me may show Barry like he may uh, change his perspective on things because he Ralph should have killed him. If he killed him, it everything would have been great. Everything in the world would have been great for Team Flash. So maybe I'm hopeful that this shows Barry that he probably needs to kill DeVoe. But then DeVoe actually kills Ralph, and the reason I don't think Ralph is actually dead is uh, because he's gotten so much character development throughout the season, and he's a major superhero in the comics. Like, he's not crazy major, but he's he is a big superhero in the comics, and it would be a really big waste if he just died after this episode. If he was only in the, in the, in the Arrowverse for 18 episodes after all the character development he got, and then he's just dead... There's really, really no way. And we had this awesome scene with him fighting that T-Rex, which I didn't talk about. I thought that, that scene was awesome. And then to go from that and all the character development he gets in this episode in the past 17 episodes, or not 17, like 13 episodes, he's just dead? There's no way. The only reason that they gave the thinker Ralph's body was for him to look to look like DeVoe again, like Neil Stantilands again, which I thought was definitely a good idea. And this is actually something I, I've called for a while now. Ever since DeVoe started going to other people's bodies and we learned that Ralph can shapeshift, I, I, was, I just called that, first of all, they needed to go back to Neil, Neil Sandilands because none, uh, none of the other actors really paled in comparison to playing DeVoe, and it didn't really work well for any of the actors, really. So they needed to go back to Neil Sandilands. The only way to do that is to is for, Neil Sand for DeVoe to take over Ralph's bodies and use his shapeshifting abilities 
to go back to being played by Neil Sandilands, but I definitely don't think Ralph is dead. There's no way. I think that this is, is this is DeVoe's last body. Like this is the the body he wanted because he because it has the power to to keep his mind. And he could look back. You know, now Annie could look like Neil Sandilands got it's either this body or actually wants Barry's body. I don't really know, but I definitely think that this is either the last body or the second last. So after he gets rid of this body, Ralph, because he's he's a good guy and he's a protagonist and he's a main character, he'll find a way, the show will find a way for him to come back into his mind. Like he'll fight back DeVoe, which I think will be a pretty good uh, pretty good episode. Like if, the, if there's a whole episode or at least scene of, of Ralph, like, in his mind, fighting back the volume. But I think that there need there needs to be something for Ralph to come back. I really hope he's not dead. I don't think he's dead. There's no way he's dead because he had all this character development towards him, and then he's just gone. There's really no way. But at least this scene of of DeVoe taking over Ralph's body was really was really good. The whole episode built up to it, kind of, and it really it turned out well. It wasn't the most emotional death scene, which because I don't think it's an actual death scene, but it was actually kind of emotional. And then after that, DeVoe went back to looking like himself again, which is a huge, huge plus because, like I said the entirety of the season ever since he started looking like other characters other people other actors it just hasn't been as good but now that he's back in Neil Sandilands' body like now that not in Neil Sandilands in his own skin and Neil Sandilands is playing him again then I think the the season can get back to its way to how it was in the first nine episodes where DeVoe looked like this so I definitely think that's um, that's great and then there was Killer Frost losing her powers which I think is also very temporary because first of all it was it was through Melting Point, which it was a whole episode of, 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 of powers being switched, and that was temporary, so I don't really think Killer Frost losing her powers is temporary. I don't know if this means that DeVoe has Killer Frost powers, and and Killer Frost, I mean, Caitlyn has zero powers. I don't really know, but I definitely think that is temporary. So, but in conclusion, this episode was definitely a lot better than the previous episode. I feel like it should have definitely returned from the break on this episode rather than the last one. It just would have worked much better with the momentum of the season. And this episode basically did almost everything right, except for, like, the Folden Man is kind of boring, and De Marley's DeVoe fighting doesn't, didn't really make any sense. But everything else, the argument about whether or not Team Flash should kill DeVoe like that really worked well because why I explained it, and then it ended with a pretty, a pretty great conclusion with Ralph being right, and then the fight scene between Barry and Ralph, and Ralph scene talking to Barry and then Ralph fighting that dinosaur and the rest of Team Flash fighting the the, the Thinker and Marlies and the Samurai and everything like that was great. Ralph's death scene, death scene was also really good as long as it's not a real death because if he doesn't return ever again I would kind of be annoyed because he had all this character development and he's a kind of cool superhero his powers are interesting so if he never returns I'd be kind of annoyed and you know, and then the best part like the one of the best parts about this episode the, the, the thing that it, that it does to advance the plot and to better the rest of the season, I mean, is Neil Sandiland's returning as DeVoe exactly how I expected him to return. So I'll give this episode a 9.3 out of 10. But let me know what you thought about the episode in the comments down below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I have to urge you to definitely follow me on Twitter because YouTube Subbox is not working. And if you follow me on Twitter, you'll get notified every single video. It just works so much better, as well as daily polls on the Arrowverse and all things superhero TV show slash movie related. And also click the notification icon. Thanks for watching.